Yeah. The women are now begging for the men to hang out with them. This is so bad. You know, I would have never thought in a million years that I would witness the day that women were practically on their knees begging for the men to hang out with them. Not date them, not marry them, not be in long-term committed relationships, but to merely hang out. It has gotten that bad, you all that the men have completely abandoned ship, okay? They don't want anything to do with a lot of the women today. And I just can't help but to think, how far have we fallen? Ladies, how far have we truly fallen from grace to where the men are now avoiding us like the plague? They don't want to kick it with y'all. They don't want to turn up with y'all. They don't want to do anything with y'all. Like, what did y'all really do? I have real questions, okay? I mean, when I came across this video right here, I said, yeah, it's looking like we're doomed. <laughs> because since when did the women how to truly beg for men to give them attention, uh, hang out, kick it, dance, party, link up. Like what? Seriously, what? What did we do? Okay, we need answers. So y'all like the video, share the video and subscribe because we need more and more men in particular to come through to let us know what did we do wrong and can we fix it? Okay, why aren't you all wanting to hang out with the women anymore? Why is it that you all in today's time would rather hang out with your homeboys and hang out by yourself than to shoot the breeze and kick with the women? Like, what is at play? We need answers, okay? But y'all like the video, share the video, and subscribe, and let's get into it. Because when I came across this video right here, I said, wow, ladies. Y'all must have really messed up. Let's get into it. And again, hit the like. Y'all got to start coming to these brunches. That's where all the pretty girls be at, literally. With their little colorful outfits. They take their hoodies off, their t-shirts off. And then that's where they be, all the working class women, nice nurses and stuff. Like, y'all be missing out. Y'all got to start coming to the brunches. Y'all love the gym shoes at night, but y'all don't want to come where the ladies be at pretty and just ready to mingle. Uh, I got to pause it because already is so much that needs to be addressed. She's saying, fellas, why don't you all want to come to the outings with us, a.k.a. the brunches with us? This is where all of the beautiful women are mingling. You know, they have their pretty colorful outfits. You know, they're taking the shirts off, a.k.a. getting wild. And y'all still don't want to show up? Like, what is going on? So, ladies, we really need to be taking into consideration just how bad we have turned off these men to where they're like not even enticed by a bunch of beautiful women. They don't care that you're taking your clothes off and getting rowdy. Like, ha, huh, yawn. They're turned off. Like, this is a lot. And again, fellas, y'all let me know what happened. But let's continue. Come on, fellas. Like, I need the fellas, man. Is we, what I'm doing something wrong. I just want to know why men don't become of angry black men okay so now she's getting into i guess the responses that she received from the initial video so now she's talking about uh all of the comments that she got from a bunch of angry black men concerning her previous video asking hey why aren't you all coming out to the brunches with us okay but before i get into the second half of this i have to say this Ladies, unfortunately, 
a lot of women have spoiled it for the good quality women or the women who, you know, would have been, let's say, okay for a man to hang out with and kick it with, you know? So for example, ladies, due to the fact that there's so many women out there that are just poor quality, they only wanted to use the men up. They didn't have a genuine interest in the men. For crying out loud, you all, we have whole femininity coaches teaching women not to even love the man. It's all about his money. It's all about what he can provide for you. So with all of that taken into consideration, you have so many men out here who are just like, look, <laughs> if all I'm going to be used up as is a sucker and a tool to be thrown away and discarded of i'd rather save myself the time and the energy and the money why should i show up to hang out with a bunch of women who don't even value me they don't even like me let alone love me so yeah i'll i'll save it i'll skip it you know and so even when you have women such as her who is professing the fact that, hey, I never did anything wrong. What did I do wrong? I always loved the men. I always respected the men. Well, again, unfortunately, due to a lot of women not being in alignment, it does turn off the men from the bulk, from the majority. So they just cast all of you all away. And that's why it was so imperative for the women who were trying to be righteous right? Who were trying to be fair and balanced to call out these females that were not. And I get it, ladies. It's hard to speak up and stand up against the quote unquote sisterhood of sadness, right? When they're telling you, oh, you're a pick me and oh, you're male identified and oh, you're against women and you're setting women back. I know that can be a lot to go up against, but you had to speak up against it because now look at you in these very awkward situations to where you're begging for the men to pay you attention and not throw you out with the other women well you ask for it okay i mean when you don't speak up against things that are unrighteous unfair selfish and all of that well you get what you get and so that is ultimately what we're facing today as well ladies and I do feel sorry for the good quality women that are being overlooked in the process. But again, this is why y'all should have been standing up and speaking out. But let's continue. And y'all like the video, share the video, and subscribe. Dogging us out so bad, saying how we want y'all to pay for stuff. And just the last, if I'm inviting you to a brunch, that mean me and my girls already got our tickets and our tables. What do we need your stuff for? What's that little money going to do? Majority of the women making more money anyway. Oh, here we go. Just when I thought maybe she would have been one of the good apples, you expose yourself. So I'm guessing she got a lot of pushback from her previous uh, video talking about the men. Why aren't y'all showing up and kicking it with us and hanging out with us? And she's now saying that she got a, a comment section full of angry black men talking about how a lot of women just want to use them. And that's rightfully so that they feel that way. I mean, again, have you all heard about the level up life and the soft girl era in life? A lot of those chicks out there are heavily fixated on finding a man to again milk dry okay they're not in it for righteous reasons it's all about how you can use up a guy and another thing that goes into that is the fact that when men did show women genuine interest they would soon learn and find out that the woman did not like him and it was all about what she can gain from him no reciprocation no appreciation and so now you're starting to see a lot of hesitation bars from the men wanting to hang out you know like why do all of that when the majority of y'all are just users so that's rightfully so and i'm really disappointed that the first thing that she went 
into doing was insulting the men and saying, oh, well, we make more money than y'all anyway. And we don't need y'all anyway. We boss chicks. And see, to me, that kind of exposes her because if you were genuinely trying to gain an understanding of why the men were staying away and what you could honestly do to make it better, you wouldn't result into the insults, okay? You wouldn't instantly go into, oh, well, we got more money than y'all anyway. We don't need y'all, this, that, and the third. Well, which one is it, ma'am? Because it's starting to sound like you only did want the men to show up so that they can cash out on you. Again, if you had righteous and pure intentions, it wouldn't have resulted in this, okay? When the men started to vocalize their feelings and say, well, a lot of the, the women out here are just users. They only want us to spend our money on them and not taking a genuine interest in us. You should have heard them out instead of saying, well, y'all are broke dusties anyway. Nobody wants your money. What are y'all talking about? You know what I'm saying? Like, obviously and clearly these men are experiencing something in mass and bulk. And it has to have some kind of merit and truth behind it. And so many of us women, we're very dismissive towards that. It's like, oh, ain't nobody using y'all for y'all money. Don't nobody want y'all. Y'all broke anyway. We don't need y'all anyway. Well, if that's the truth and that's the case, and that's how you're really feeling about these men, why the initial video to begin with? Why even go into the whole mode of, hey, we just want to kick it. We just want to hang out with y'all. Why y'all not showing up? Why y'all not doing this? Well, if they're worthless and useless, <laughs> you don't need them. You bossed up without the men. Why are you begging? You know, and like I'm saying, she pretty much exposed herself for being a part of the sisterhood of sadness by having this response video. Because if you were truly trying to gain an understanding, ma'am, you wouldn't have made this follow-up video condemning the men and shaming them and calling them broke and saying that you don't need them. When in all actuality, we know that you do, which is why you were begging in the first place. But let's continue. And y'all let me know. Do y'all agree with me? Do y'all disagree with me? Let me know. And hit that like button. Let's continue. So why would I care for that? All I said was, we want to hang with y'all. Why I can't say we want to hang with the black men? Why can't the black men come enjoy a brunch with us and chill and just eat and have a good time? You be home by six and watch the game. Because that's not the reality of a lot of women out there. Let's be honest, you all. Can we stop the gaslighting and pretending like we don't understand where a lot of the black men's frustration and anger stems from? And men in general, to be honest, it's not just black men. You know, so let's be clear, though. OK, and again, hit the like button because this needs to be addressed and everybody needs to hear this. Let's stop pretending, ladies, like we have not been using and abusing these men for decades. Discarding of them, stringing them along. Putting them in friend zones until we need help. Disrespecting them, neglecting them. Come on, you all, not appreciating. Like that has been the relationship dynamic for a very long time now. And so now we're starting to see the ending results and effects of that. You cannot be upset that the men are now trying to protect themselves by not getting involved whatsoever. More than likely, when a woman is asking you to hang out with her, it is so that she can use you up. It is not coming from a pure, genuine place of, hey, I just want companionship. I just want to have fun. I just want to bond. No, I need your bands, your money. Come on, you all. That has been the, the bulk of what a lot of women were in search for. So we cannot come through now upset that the men are again cutting off access and saying no i will not be used i will not be taken advantage of i will not be strung along especially concerning the fact that our intentions <laughs> in the past and very recently have been to use 
manipulate, control, and ultimately destroy. It's never been an instance of, oh, no, I just want to kick it. Oh, no, I just want to hang out. I got my own. No. A lot of y'all chicks are extremely greedy. So what does it even mean that you have your own? Yeah, you got your own money, but guess what? You still want his. And like I said, that has been the energy for a very long time. So you cannot blame the men for being skeptical about your intentions. I don't like the gaslighting and the lies. Why would y'all rather choose being with all men? I never seen a world where men be so thirsty to just be with men and not women. And I don't like the insinuation behind that. You know, to me, it's giving, are y'all gay? Are y'all fruity? You know, are y'all zesty? Are y'all sassy? And it's coming off very condescending, very disrespectful, and I don't like it. And it's all because she's feeling the way about men protecting themselves. The men would rather hang out with other men in today's world, in today's time, not because they're zesty, not because they're sassy, not because they're gay, but because they can at least count on the fact that my brother has my back. I, my brother is my keeper. He's not just here to use me. We can bond off of, you know, being able to relate to one another and having a great time. So many men on my platform alone have told me even like, hey, on the weekend, I get the grill out, invite the boys over and we watch football and we have a good time. And we play cards. You know, we don't even need a bunch of females or females at all. And no, these brothers are extremely masculine. So let's not do too much. OK, but this is what a lot of y'all do. Whenever you feel rejected and whenever you feel like nobody wants you, now you want to attack people, whether that be their sexuality, um, their financial status, whatever. And it's really getting tired and played out, ladies. This is why the men don't want to go to brunch with you. Because the moment that they express themselves and what they're going through and how they're feeling, you result to attacking them, making them feel like, you know... Their opinions and their feelings are invalid. Oh, why do y'all want to hang out with a bunch of men anyway? She knows exactly what she's doing and exactly what she's insinuating when she asks that type of question. That is a direct attack on these men's manhood. And again, if you're going to call them zesty, well, how about they do just that and X the women out? You're going to call me gay anyway, right? You're going to insult me anyway, right? Call me broke anyway, right? So, okay, I'll be all of those things without you, though. So, whatever. But let's continue. Like the video. And complain. When women invite y'all to some, we just want to have a good time with y'all. No, you don't. <laughs> and even if there are a handful of women out there who are genuine and pure and, you know, sincere, the bulk of the women don't just want to hang out. Absolutely not. I want you to hang out your wallet. Yeah. I want you to splurge and spend on me. Yeah. Why y'all so mad at us? That's so weird. And we the same skin. It doesn't matter. <laughs> you know what? And, and I didn't even want to make this a black and black woman and black man thing, but she keeps doing that. So let's go there, shall we? And y'all like the video, share the video, and subscribe. A lot of what she's talking about is a universal thing, which is why I didn't want to just make it a black thing. You know what I'm saying? But since she's going there, let's air it all out. Sisters, are we not the ones talking about we're divesting? Are we not the ones talking about get rid of black male babies? Are we not the ones talking about we're no longer dealing with broke, dusty black men? We're leveling up? Like, come on, sis. Again, the willful ignorance and the gaslighting is just beyond me at this point. <laughs> we're the same skin. Since when did that ever matter to y'all? <laughs> Please. Since when did us being one gigantic, beautiful black family ever matter to a lot of these black women out here? Do you have a lot of solid sisters or a handful of solid sisters? Sure. But the bulk? No. So do me a favor, ma'am, and cut the crap.
Stop acting like you don't know what has been at play this whole time. And as quiet as count, from what I'm observing, you, ma'am, were also a part of the problem while you're trying to pretend like, oh, I didn't do anything wrong. Girl, please. We supposed to be hanging together anyway, not against each other. Are you sure about that? Did you check with the, the sisterhood? Because last time I checked, y'all were divested. And it's giving since you were rejected from the other men. Now you're trying to come back to the black man. But again, I'm not even trying to make this a black woman, black man thing. But hey, let's continue. It sounds like y'all don't like us. Answer that. Do y'all like black women still? Yes. And that's a common misconception. The black men, since we're talking about black men, they absolutely love black women. My platform alone is consisted of majority men, and yes, they're black men. And they tell me every time, yes, our preference is a sister. We love black women. We would love to settle down and marry, procreate with black women. However, a lot of the black women do not want to be in alignment with us. They don't want to be on our program. You know, they want to compete with us. They want to disrespect us. They want to emasculate us. And so, yeah, I'll rather not deal with you. I'll go overseas and find a different black woman. But yes, the, the brothers absolutely do love black women. It's just that the ones here, unfortunately, are not ideal. And that's the issue. So no, I don't want to kick it with you. I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to do anything with you because I already know that the majority of y'all are just in it for yourselves. You don't have genuine intentions. But to answer the question, yes, the black men love the black women. Let's continue. And y'all like the video. What, we, what do we do? Because I know I ain't did no bad stuff to black men like i love black men i ain't never even dated a white man before i'm so loyal well that may be you okay they can go for you and maybe a handful of other black women but a lot of them out here have been very disrespectful very neglectful okay very uh treacherous dangerous toxic yeah so Sorry about you, but due to the bad antics of a lot, even the few have to suffer. And that's what I hate the most. And that is personally why I have been going so hard to make sure that we were standing up against certain narratives, certain lifestyles. Because I knew that this day would come to where the bulk of men would just be like, you know what? I'm done with it. No, I don't want to do anything with you. They're ignoring y'all. And again, rightfully so, y'all did it to yourselves. So we can't even be mad. But yeah. Understand that. Please. We just want y'all to hang with us. That's it. Have fun with us. What's wrong with that? A lot. Unfortunately, it's a lot wrong with men hanging with women because oftentimes it leads to a bunch of manipulation stringing along and ultimately uh milking dry okay there's no such thing in 2024 as a woman just wanting to hang out with a man mm -mm. if i can't use you up then there's no need for you <laughs> it's very very and strictly transactional for a lot of y'all and y'all know that and so i really don't like how she's trying to paint this narrative that something is wrong with the men and she just not understand why she they do not want to hang out with them i don't understand why the men don't want to hang out and kick it oh are you sure about that <laughs> look around take notes but y'all let me know how y'all feel about this fellas are you in a rush to hang out with women are you cool on them y'all let me know and please let me know what did these women do wrong put it in the comments so they can have a clear understanding of where they fell short. You know, was it the disrespect? Was it the neglect? Was it the lack of reciprocation? Y'all let us know. I look forward to sending that in the comments. But on that note, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up. Y'all like the video, share the video and subscribe. And I'll see y'all in the next dope discussion.
Much love and peace to my crown heads.